probability all the time in our everyday lives without even realizing it. Like when we decide whether or not to bring an umbrella when we leave home, or whether to take the side streets instead of the highway to beat the traffic. You may have even spent a fair amount of time contemplating the probability you'll ace a test by only cramming the night before. Probability is the likelihood that something will or won't happen. An important thing to remember when solving probability questions is that an event can't be expected to happen less than 0% of the time or more than 100% of the time. So probability is often expressed as a percentage between 0% and 100%. It can also be written as a fraction between 0 and 1. When we're calculating probability, we do it with a simple formula. Probability is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. Let's take a look at how this sort of problem shows up on the actual test. Here's a question about a card game. A game's card set is made up of 6 blue cards and 9 red cards. If a player randomly selects one of these cards, what is the probability the selected card will be blue? A is 1 15th, B is 1 6th, C is 2 fifths, D is 3 fifths, and E is 2 thirds. We'll underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label the answer choices. All we need to do here is to go back to our probability equation and substitute our numbers. So the probability of drawing a blue card is the number of blue cards over the total number of cards. So that's 6 over 15. If we simplify that by dividing both the top and the bottom by 3, we get 2 over 5, or answer choice C. That one worked itself out pretty quickly. Now let's take a look at a probability question about marbles. However, I'm going to make this a pause and solve problem, so you can work it out on your own before we go through it together. Grab some paper and a pencil, and when I say pause, you'll pause the video and solve the problem. Come back when you're done. All right. Here's the question. The probability of randomly selecting a green marble from a bag is 4 fifths. If there are 110 marbles in the bag, how many are not green? A is 20, B is 22, C is 36, D is 80, and E is 88. OK, ready, set, pause. Welcome back. Let's go through the problem together and see if we can come up with the same answer. First, we'll underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label the answer choices. We know from earlier in this lesson that the total probability for any situation that uses a fraction is going to be 1. Because of that, we can say that the probability of something not happening is just 1 minus the probability that it does happen. In this case, the probability of not grabbing a green marble is 1 minus 4 fifths, or 1 fifth. To figure out how many non-green marbles are in the bag, we just multiply 1 fifth by the total number of marbles, which is 110, to get 22, or answer choice B. So when you're solving for probability, you're just looking at the likelihood that something will or won't happen. Aside from using this knowledge on the ACT, understanding probability can help you make logical decisions based on numerical data. For instance, if you love the sunshine, you might not be happy attending a university in a city where there's a high probability of rain 300 days a year. Something to keep in mind after you ace the test.